Hi, hello, Felina here. I am back for another mm, fashion-ish video. I just wanted to share with you this uh, fabulous find dress from Old Navy. Now, I will say that my recent experience shopping with Old Navy online was not a good one. I actually ordered this dress on like May 17th and I just got it yesterday and it's June 30th. I wanted to share with you some things that I look for when I shop online because I do most of my shopping for clothes online. However, I have learned uh, what kinds of styles fit my body type and if they don't look super stellar when I get them, um, a few tricks that I would use to like conform them and make them into something that I would wear or something that looks better. Okay. So first of all, this dress, I know because I am large chested and the smallest part of my body is actually right here. I, I do have some junk in the trunk down here that I don't love, but you know what? I have to just embrace what I have. But I have just learned to dress the shape and size that I am. I'm not going to let my size compromise my style. And I'm not going to let it stop me um, from wearing things that make me really feel amazing. To tell you um, why this dress makes me feel amazing. Okay, first of all, I love the color. I'm not a huge fan of the pattern. But after looking at some of my accessories and um, making a select few makeup choices, I'm actually really digging this dress. So first of all, it is actually a midi dress. So when you shop online at Navy, you can look at um, short styles, you can look at midi styles, and you can look at like maxi styles. But I am a petite, a petite size meaning that I am a plus size, but my legs are fairly short. And so I usually need the shortest version of something. Otherwise it's way too long. So I very rarely go for a maxi dress when I'm shopping online because unfortunately I don't sew and I don't have the capacity to shorten it. I have at times cut the bottom off and kind of tied it up in a knot like you would with a too big t-shirt. And that sometimes works really well, but I was actually looking for a dress that didn't have to do that. So although this is a midi length dress, it actually hits me just above the ankle, which is perfect because then I can wear whatever type of shoes I want and not worry about tripping over it. Ideally, I'm, hit, I'm going for my Burks all summer long, if at all possible. The second thing that I really like about it is this kind of, it's kind of a ruched, kind of cap sleeve thing. The things that I like the least amount of my body are my tummy. Okay. And my arms, I probably hate even more. So I, nine times out of 10, I choose to wear a sweater or a blazer or something, but let's face it, it gets hot in the summertime and I want to be comfortable. Um, but I also want to be confident in what I'm wearing. So this style top is actually really flattering. Uh, because it draws attention more to my neckline and not my arms. If I wear something that is like this skinny, the first thing that you notice about me is usually my arms. Okay, so I actually really like the coverage that I get. That means that I can wear like a nice and sturdy bra and not have to worry about my, back, my bra straps showing either. And it has really good coverage in the back. The second thing is that it has like a built-in empire style waist. It is a little higher than I would like uh, because I am large chested. Like the girls take up most of the room here. For someone who doesn't have a large chest, there might not, this might sit a little bit lower on you. Uh, but I'm actually okay with where it's sitting because this is the smallest part of my body. So if this dress was like a regular t-shirt style dress or an A-line dress, I would usually put a belt on and that is right where my belt would sit. So this I actually really like because it's easy, just slip it on and I'm good to go. One other thing that I really like about this dress is kind of the V neckline. Now I have added like the tiniest little safety pin right here just to close it where I want it. But if I could leave it open, or if I did want to leave it open, I have a few tricks of what to use so that you're not feeling uncomfortable with too much cleavage. So I actually have a, a, a bra that is like a very full coverage on today. So I couldn't leave this open because you can see my bra, right? If I were to leave this open, it would open to about there um, and it would just show too much of my bra and I don't want that. So I'm going to, I just use like a super tiny little safety pin you could use, um, if you 
wanted to do that permanently, you could tack it there with a little bit of thread or some double-sided like um, no sew tape, which I also have, but I don't want to put this permanently there. Um, and I will show you why. I actually, um, lots of times when you have these summer dresses, especially when you're buying online, you can't really tell if it's going to be like a see-through style. And depending on how it fits, I often have trouble in this area where the material, it fits me everywhere else, but the material is stretched so much up here to fit over top of my bust, see, that it kind of becomes see-through. Um, and it's not super see-through. This is actually just like the base inside of the shirt. But I, I worry about that. I don't really want you to see my under things. Um, and I just want to be comfortable. Sometimes when I have a style that's like really billowy or flowy too, that makes me uncomfortable. Like we're out and about. I don't want the wind to come up, blow my skirt up, and you can see everything. So I want to show you this product or this piece of clothing that I absolutely love. I own it in a few different styles and I own it in ivory and in black. This is the newest version. I've had a version like a different style, the high-low version for many years that I almost always wear under these dresses. Now this dress is brand new but in a year from now from washing it so much it will likely lose some of the pigment and it'll become see-through and then it turns into a camping dress for me. I will most often choose to wear a dress rather than pants or shorts. It's just how I'm more comfortable. Um, I, I feel it's just more flattering for me and when I feel more flattering or more attractive in the clothes that I'm wearing it just uplifts my mood and makes me feel good. So for that reason I am most comfortable wearing a dress um, but when it kind of reaches maybe the last legs of its life, um, I turned it into camping clothes. So that's just me. So I want to show you this. So this is a product. Um, this one is actually a dress extender. So it's about four inches of lace on the bottom and it is a very thin cotton material. So this is a dress extender made by Grace and Lace. Now I am a plus size, usually a 1X, sometimes 2X. It really depends on what the style is and how it fits. Um, but I can fit into Grace and Lace double XL and I even have an extra large because this area that you're putting in is very roomy. This one is actually too big. Um, but this part down here is not stretchy so I had to buy it a little bit bigger so that I could get it over everything. Um, and it sits about just at my thigh. Um, or at my knee so it's great after you have been washing dresses for a while and maybe they're getting a little shorter or shorter they also have this in shirt lengths as well but think of this as like a modern day slip okay so if I were to leave this open it would show about that much of my bra but I could put this on and it would look like a little cami underneath and this is a little bit tighter and it hugs my body so when I'm wearing kind of loosey-goosey dresses like really flowy ones um maybe ones that are kind of more baby doll tops or more flowy for those really hot days. I really like having this kind of tighter slip thing. So totally multi-purpose. I highly suggest these. You can get them all over the place, but mostly they're in kind of boutique shops. Um, I personally bought these right from Grace and Lace. Another under things item that I make extensive use of. So I use this lots for uh, holding up my pants. I hate wearing pants just it cuts me in the wrong place and I don't like the like multi-lump thing that look that it gives me. I mean I have I have curves and I have lumps and bumps but I would rather it be like a smooth looking lump. Um, those of you who ha are self-conscious about lumps and bumps will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I, I feel a little bit more secure when I have like a body shaper on, but they can get really hot. But my favorite one, and this one is like super stretched out right now, it's just a tube. Okay, so I got this from Pennington's. I think it's like T Vigolo or something. So make sure you guys get those before Pennington shuts down. Um, you could buy them probably all over the place. So the tube... I'm wearing the kind of nude version right now. So it goes from about here and it goes to kind of mid thigh. You can wear it lower or higher and you can stretch it as much as you want. I really like that wear this under dress dresses. I don't have to worry about what color underwear I'm wearing, um, things like that. Um, and it just makes everything look really smooth 
in your dress. So although I have curves and things that I don't love about my body, I feel a little bit more confident and secure that at least things look smooth. So let's talk about bras. When you are wearing especially this type of style, where it's kind of an empire waist thing, for me, the way my clothing fits is largely dependent on the bra that I'm wearing, okay? So when it comes to a dress like this, how many of you have walked around with your dress and it's kind of up here somewhere? Like this dress loses most of its appeal when it is sitting like that. It gives me a whole bunch of extra room here. So I have a tummy here and my boobs are here, but I have, I'm a lot smaller, a couple inches smaller in here. Okay, and so that's the part that I really wanna show off, that yes, I might be plus size, I might be carrying a lot more weight than I would like, um, but I do still have a feminine body and I deserve to feel feminine and sexy in it. So there's something about having this tighter um, and sitting in the low, in the smallest part of your body that really does amazing things. So our ultimate goal when you're dressing yourself is to have this um, this kind of hourglass shape regardless of how big it is here and here. That's just my opinion. Um, and I feel more confident. So if I were to wear a different kind of bra um, that gives my breast a different shape, it would sit differently in this, in this dress, okay? So keep that in mind when you're going dress shopping or when you try something on. If it looks okay, but there's something quite not quite right about it, try changing your bra and it could really make a big difference. Okay, so we have bras like this, which is usually the kind of thing, kind of this soft cup with like the princess seams, like it has seams in all the right places, it has an underwire, um, but these styles I find make the shape, my shape look much different. I find that they kind of change the shape of the way my chest looks, so it ends up looking fuller here down here instead of up here and when it comes to this style dress I really need the fullness of my breast to be in the center and not down here otherwise this dress would look more like that and it's not nearly as flattering in any way shape or form as it is when um, the fullness is in the center of the of this chest part of the dress okay so I tend to opt for um, a bra style more like this I'm not necessarily looking for padding I'm um, but I like the like molded shape because my breast is automatically going to have that shape where there's the fullness up top here and not down here. So that's just my personal preference and I find that it really makes a difference and depending on what dress or what shirt or what top, what have you that I'm wearing, uh, will depend on what bra I choose. Not necessarily for the strap style, but absolutely for the cup style. So let's talk cardigans and what kind of cardigan I would choose for this dress. Okay, so there is nothing wrong with um, wearing a cardigan or larger styles. But for myself, I always try to make sure that things don't look too drapey um, or too billowy. I already carry a lot of weight and thickness. I don't really need to add to that but I do kind of like to hide it sometimes. So I always try to make sure that I have something waist defining. If this wasn't here, I would actually use a little skinny belt um, to define my waist so that when you look at me and you see me out, although I'm wearing a sweater that is kind of drapey and it's not super form fitting, you can still see my hourglass shape. All right, so that is my look today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions.